What is going on, movie lovers? I am Brian, and I am here with Keith, and we are giving you our reaction to... You haven't seen what? <laughs> uh, with uh, the challenge being me this time, Brian, obviously, uh, challenging Keith to one of my favorite trashy movies, uh, Joanna Man. And this movie stars Miguel A. Nunez Jr., Vivica A. Fox, and a bunch of other people you probably don't even know because the movie's so obscure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Uh, if you don't know, Juana Man is a movie about a NBA player that's kind of the bad boy of the league, essentially, and he gets kicked out and basically dresses up as a woman to join the WNBA yeah. in hopes to, I guess, go back to the NBA at some point or something. Good, um, good question. Yeah. So I don't know. I never really understood how <laughs> that was going to pan out. But uh, yeah. So Keith. This is one of my favorite all-time trashy movies that I was very excited to challenge someone to because everyone, whenever I bring up this movie, rolls their eyes and go, oh my god. Yeah. So, but, uh, what'd yeah. you think? You won't hurt my feelings if uh, you hate it. Uh, listen, don't, not, listen, I'm not, <laughs> okay, let me just, let me ask you what I, I always do when I uh, get challenges. Let me ask, how did you come to this movie? Uh, I am a big Comedy Central like, if a movie's on Comedy Central, okay. I'll watch it. Gotcha. And I think I just ended up watching yeah. it one day, and <laughs> it literally just made me laugh All the right. whole entire time, especially Puff Smoky Smoke. Uh, Glad he, you brought that up. I'll he, get to that. I'll get he that. cracks me up every single time he's on the screen, especially the part where it's dead silent in the gym and he goes, Do you want a man? Like that. <laughs> Love that part. It's okay. so funny. But yeah, no. Just a TV movie you sure. came across. And, it's, it's, yeah. Okay, well, this is definitely one of those movies <laughs> that just plays in the middle of the day on Comedy Central. Yeah, oh, that's 100% so, true. Uh, all right. Well, look, this movie is... Uh, I'm not going to bash it as much as you think, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, it's exactly what I thought. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see it at the time. 2002. I think I was just moving here to Sacramento oh. when this came out. So, uh, yeah, I just... Didn't even give it a second thought. Yeah. I just, yeah. Pro you and probably a lot of people. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were just we were just talking about the song, the Fat Joe song with Ashanti. Yeah, you know, at the, the time. That's I, part of the soundtrack, and that song was huge at the time. Yeah, the song is still still you hear on the radio. Yeah, the, yeah. It's a uh, what's, what's love, love got, to, got do, to do that one. Got to do yeah yeah. It's, it, Didn't even realize until today that that was the <laughs> like main song for the yeah. movie. Yeah yeah yeah, and uh, you know. You explained it, and that's that's the movie. That's not even really much to it. As the Miguel Nunez, he's a guy that um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've seen, uh, you know, the thing about this movie, uh, to jump to jump back real quick, uh, this thing's about this came out two thousand two, mm -hmm. probably about five years too late. Because I think this is the kind of movie. This is a, definitely a nineties movie that came out mm -hmm. in Fair enough. Early, yeah. early two thousand. This is the kind of goofy thing you would have seen in. 1998 or 90, you know, 99 or something Fair, like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, the premise is, it's, look, it's silly, obviously. It's ridiculous. Uh, um, Miguel Nunez is, a, the first thing I noted when I put it on, let me just say, I didn't watch this movie. I watched it. I just, I put it on. And oh just, my God. And was just doing stuff. Cause I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sitting and watching this movie. <laughs> so I was just kind of, I was like doing other stuff uh, in the house while I, was, while I had it on. I was paying attention enough just to, okay, I, I got it. Okay. That, yeah. Oh yeah, that part. All right, that's kind of funny. Uh, there's a bunch of people that, you know, you recognize. Kevin Pollack, how they got him in this, I don't know. Uh, the cast is actually decent. You know, you got Vivica Fox, like you said, Miguel Nunez is a guy you've seen on, uh, you know, I guess at least in the maybe in the African American entertainment community, you see him a lot on like TV shows like Martin or mm -hmm. whatever else. He was in a uh, Life. He does a lot of those roles, like with uh, like Eddie Murphy and, and and all those kinds of movies. And he's a funny guy. He's a very funny guy. Um, uh, you know, we mentioned Vivica Fox. You know, everything. we all know her. Uh, Kim Wayans, obviously one of the Wayans, was big at the time. You got this was still at the time where we're putting uh, music stars in movies. So <laughs> yeah, you got Genuine playing the the jerk boyfriend, and uh, little Kim was a uh, 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 Miguel Nunez's uh, girlfriend, I guess. I don't know. She she was kind of he's he's like this player. Obviously, he's a jerk. Did, did, typical stereotypical, you know, athlete. Uh, did the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen that no one would ever do. <laughs> even the jerkiest <laughs> jerk <believe>. athletes, <laughs> even the worst, most ridiculous athlete would never do such a thing. And I was just watching, like, what are you doing? Like, come on. I know this movie's dumb, but like. <laughs> That's extreme. Nobody would do that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, there are some actually some 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 some. I'll be honest, some kind of tender, sweet moments that popped up yeah. in this movie. It's like I mean, okay, I I I don't know. Like I said, I just. You know, it's it's what I expected. Yeah. You know, you mentioned Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson, one of my favorite comedians of all time. Uh, I've always loved Sense and Limit Color. I love his, his stand up. He's still funny. And uh, one thing I like to do on these uh, challenges is pick out like my favorite line. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have one. But just as soon as I saw him, he just cracked me up. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I heard his name, I, went, I just was dying. I did. I just had to It's the best. <laughs> he steals it. Smoking. He's so funny. So he had me. I, I was like, every time he was on screen, uh-huh. I stopped what I was doing and paid attention. Like he, he he's was so funny. Great. In this movie. Tommy Davidson is always great. I, I loved him in this movie. Actually, believe it or not. Yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah, just whatever. The way he gets found out is like, okay, after everything he's done. Yeah. His wig, dumb wig off. falls off yeah. in this one game. With the like playoffs. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, yeah it's, okay. They they still let the team complete and compete right. after it, like, and they win man, the championship. Well, this would be the biggest scandal that's ever happened. Yeah. in the history of American sports. If something like this was going oh, hundred percent. And but you know they weren't gonna get into all that obviously, but you know look the movie. It's it's what you think it is. Yeah, you're not going in you know, expecting an Oscar winner. Exactly. Like I, I, you, you pretty much know what you're gonna get just from the cover of yeah. the the movie. Oh yeah, and, and well there you go, and it's just the name, like yeah. it's like that's very just man. on the nose. Like <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's it's fine. Yeah, guess, you know, it's, again, there's a bunch of people and everybody in here I actually liked. So yeah, it's made for a, like you said, daytime comedy yeah. central. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, oh, I'm I'm glad it entertained you. Uh, but yeah, no, that sounds great. Uh, so, all right, that was my challenge, uh, <laughs> Juana Man to Keith. It is now Keith's turn to take the reins yes. and challenge someone. You've got uh, who? You got Jake? You got Jacob or Keith? Go ahead. Deal. Oh. Or Geo. Or Geo. No, I'm not. Or, here's the thing. Oh. I'm not going to challenge Geo. I was going to. Oh, okay. I don't actually know if he'd seen this one. I feel like he has. Okay. So uh, I was going to just loop back around okay. to my original challenge, the very first one, uh, very first episode that we did. And I'm going to challenge Jake again. Ooh. And I'm going to challenge him to this movie. I'm surprised he hasn't seen. But it is 2003, I think, came out. Yep, 2003. Once upon a time in Mexico. Oh, he! I could totally see him being on board with this. I'll be surprised if he doesn't like this movie. Yeah, uh, he. Just from I've never seen it. Yeah. Just from the cover of the box, it reminds me like I immediately get like Sicario, even though obviously let's be honest, it's probably not like that level. No. But <laughs> like, it's a lot of fun though. It's it's directed by Robert Rodriguez, who uh, he's got uh, Alita, Battle Angel in theaters mm-hmm. right, right now, so that's kind of part of why I wanted to do it. And uh, Yeah, it, it, listen, it's, it's, it's actually part of a trilogy. Oh. It's uh, part of the, what he called the El Mariachi trilogy. Okay. So you had the movie El Mariachi. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second one was Desperado. Okay. Which was Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek. And this is part three. Um, and I'm not going to spoil what happened in Desperado, but this kind of picks up with the aftermath of what happened in Desperado, and mm. uh, this movie's a lot of fun. Crazy, over the top violence. This is some real original Robert Rodriguez stuff. Um, if he, he's he's probably my maybe my second or third favorite director, mm. along with Tarant- Tarantino, Rodriguez, Martin Scorsese. Those are my three favorites. Okay, and uh, yeah, man, the way he shot this, he was one of the first movies, uh, one of the early ones that was all shot digital. Yeah, um, okay, and. Yeah, I mean this movie. It, like I said, the, the, the violence is crazy and over the top, and it's but it's a it's fun. Johnny Depp is great. Yeah, in this the cover movie. is literally Johnny Depp holding a giant gun yes. straight up the middle of the the yeah. box. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got Eva Mendez in here. Oh, you got a uh, uh, Mickey Mickey Rourke is in this thing. Oh, okay, so we're uh, heavy cast. Willem Dafoe. Wow. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Enrique Iglesias. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Teach Marin, of course, he's in all three of these movies. 
Um, or at least he's in the second two. But uh, and of course, uh, Danny Trio. Oh, of course. Of course, well, he's, 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 gonna, of course he's, he's in every Rodriguez yeah. movie. So uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Once upon a time in Mexico, and I cannot wait to get Jake's reaction to this movie. I think you'll right. like it. I think no. I ju- I can just te- you, some movies you can just tell people are gonna like. Yeah, that one is definitely one I can just tell he's gonna like. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, all right. Well, that's gonna do it for us on you haven't seen what and. Uh, <laughs> You got Keith's reaction to my challenge of Juana Man, and now he has decided to call out Jake, and uh, the movie he chose was Once Upon a Time in Mexico. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, if you enjoyed what you heard, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, leave us a comment in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe. Hey everyone, Jacob Bartley here. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out something similar from Apocalypse Movies, click this video up here. You want something a little bit different? Check out this video down here. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Apocalypse Movies and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.